Awesome. So, Kevin, first question. From Mario, how should we work on our wrist technique? So we're gonna start with hand technique today. How should we work on our wrist technique? Can you please give us some workouts and what we should focus on while doing them? Thanks a lot. Yeah, so you can, like, let's say spend two or three months to work on your wrist technique if you want. And I'm pretty sure you can make huge improvements. A uh, first exercise would be to use only your wrist to play on a pillow or something like this. And you don't have to play very fast, you know. It's more or less like you play a five minute roll at pretty slow tempo using only your wrist. And then after five minutes, you increase a little bit the tempo and you do the same. So you are never going to play very fast while doing that, but this is definitely going to help you to build your wrist muscle. So this, this is a pretty good exercise. Uh, it worked for me during a summer and I've made, I've made huge improvement. But otherwise, um, you can also make another exercise uh, so now when I do this exercise, uh, at some point I switch from the wrist technique to the open-close motion, push-pull motion, but you can definitely stay with the, the wrist motion on that exercise. So you don't need any click track, you can play on a regular uh, practice pad. I, for this exercise, if you want to focus on wrist technique, I strongly recommend that you use something that has a really low rebound, still better than a pillow, but something not really like bouncy. So a Remo practice pad, for example, is quite uh, good and you can also take very heavy drumstick. And what you are going to do basically is to play um, 16 strokes per hand. So And you do this all over again and after some time so you start very slowly and after some time you reduce the number of strokes and you make only 14 and then 12 and then 10 and every time you reduce the number of strokes you increase the tempo and you can last with a single stroke roll just like this and so you increase the tempo but you try to always play with your wrist and so of course you are not going to reach your maximum tempo but if you do this exercise during i don't know 20 25 minutes 30 minutes using only your wrists faster and faster uh, it's definitely going to help you to work on your wrist and while doing this this exercise you have to be very focused this time on the rebound so you are not going to really build your muscles this time but it's more you are going to uh, in increase a little bit your uh, technique and your skills. So it's more like on the pillow, you really have to do everything with your muscles. And once you are on a practice pad, even if this practice pad is not really bouncy, you really have to work on this. So it's like you go down with your wrist and then the rebound goes to your wrist. And this is why you go up again. So you really have to focus only on that. And so when you play really slowly with 16 on each hand, it's going to be very easy. But once you play faster, even if it is only four strokes per hand, it's going to be a struggle a little bit, but you have to do your best to be very relaxed and to preserve the rebound. And this is going to help you to have more flexibility uh, for your wrists and so to have then more power and to be able to play faster even if then you want to use push-pull or open-close motion this exercise will help you to have a better wrists Awesome, thank you uh, Could I ask something? Um, I would like to ask you about the grip that you have how do you hold the stick because I just had a feeling when you were showing these slow strokes that you were like grabbing the sticks really firmly yeah. And, uh, or at least it seemed like this from this angle, that you're really holding on to the stick and not even having it, you know, like kind of loose and moving around in your... Is that, is that something you do on purpose? Yeah, exactly. Especially when I'm walking on my wrist, you know. I, I don't want to open my hand like this. Because then um, a part of the rebound is going through the hand, right in the middle of the hand and the, the wrist like this. And I don't want this if I want to walk on my wrist. I want all the rebounds to go through the wrist. So I keep my hands closed. And every time I walk on my wrists, even at 240, 250, I really try to stay like this as much as possible. 
course, at some point, I really want to open my, my, my fingers, my hand and be like this. But I try not to, just to train my wrist to, you know, have all the rebounds in, in them. <laughs>